Ben Ruth, the younger brother of Ed Ruth, who I believe is Edward Ruth, three-time national champion for Penn State. Edmund decides to go to Illinois and is making a name for himself there, ranked third in the country. Rocco Welsh, just a freshman, but one that the Buckeyes are really excited about, and you know, this would be a great time, a great match opportunity for him to have a coming out party. There was talk whether Ruth would wrestle at 165. He's gonna do it at 174, the class where he just won his second straight Midlands Championship. He's in the Navy, Welsh in the gray. One thing that was surprised, I kind of was expecting Ruth to come out a little bit more aggressive, you know, being a higher range guy against a freshman, kind of like just make a statement of, you know, I'm, I'm the guy here. So I expected him to come out a couple more shots early on, but not seeing that. Seems like he's feeling it out a little bit more. Welsh got tech fold by Benny Baker of Cornell, 20 to four. Or he tech fold, excuse me, Benny Baker of Cornell, 20 to four. Lone loss was a medical forfeit at Cleveland State. He was the Big Ted Wrestler of the Week on November 8th. And my understanding, or what I've heard, is that loss doesn't technically count because uh, it was also against a non-Division I athlete. That would be correct. I don't know the rules, but that's what I heard. Not much action so far, a minute and a half into the match. Ooh, deep shot attempt. It wasn't really committed, was it, Welsh? But it might have been there if you pulled the trigger. For a minute and a half in, both these wrestlers just straggling as Welsh almost tried to sweep that ankle of Ruth. Sweep the leg. <laughs> Under a minute to go. Ruth trying to go to get his seventh straight match win. And I Welsh has such sound positioning. He's always in great position. You don't, you don't really see him standing up. There's a shot attempt. Able to get a hand on it, but not able to suck it in. It's about 10 to go in the period. Looks like we're gonna be scoreless heading to the second. Not many shot attempts from Ruth that we're seeing. Welsh, a couple really deep fakes, able to get his hands on the legs. Looks like he's maybe a little shy to fully commit. And he's gonna get to start the second period on bottom. That was Welsh's choice. He's trying to take the lead against third ranked Edmund Ruth, who just drives him back to the mat. Ruth riding tough. And they're gonna go out of bounds. 12 seconds burned off the clock. Now Rocco Welsh, he has a unique connection to Ohio State wrestling, even before he's in his first year. Nick Corey of Flow Wrestling wrote a great story coming in to tonight's match. The headgear that Kyle Snyder threw into the stands in Cleveland when Welsh was in 13, and Snyder won the NCAA title, beating Michigan's Adam Kuhn. Snyder threw his headgear into the stands, and it was snatched by Welsh's brother, Tony, and Rocco, first year with the Ohio State program, still has that headgear to this day as Ruth drives him forward. That cost Ohio State a team point. Hope it was worth it. <laughs> well, let's ask Rocco, was it worth the team point? Well, I guess it's had a long-term investment because it's, it yeah. still has some relevance today. Yeah. But a cool story nonetheless. Well, Ruth riding tough, not wanting to give up the uh, the escape. I think Ruth thinks this is going to be a close match, and it very well might. So he's trying to build up some riding time, it appears. He's an NCAA qualifier, sixth in the Big Ten last year, six major decision wins this year in the Tech Fall. Can you see that veteran presence 
and his work ethic in the way he wrestles. He, he's definitely being very methodical. Um, not taking a lot of risks so far. I think he, I, I think to win this match, he's going to have to up his aggressiveness. Um, can't imagine he's going to win this one just on the riding time point. He's right on the cusp. 59 seconds in control. And three minutes of regulation here. Now keep in mind, there was a rule change that the top guy not only, uh, he, he has to be working for a turn. He can't just be working to ride. And there's going to be that stall. So he can't just be working to break down. He's got to be working to turn. So there's a stall call. But he's got a minute and nine seconds. Margin tightens on route. Illinois coaching staff looks like he's telling them to keep riding Welsh, not let him up. Welsh but trying to dig out, and he will do so. He's in front, and he's on the board. So Welsh on the board, up 1-0. Ruth gave up a stall point, or not a stall point, but a stall call. Could potentially come to help Walsh out later in the match. But I got to imagine, th th that's tiring for Welsh, getting up uh, off bottom that many times, getting to your feet. That that's exhausting. And Rocco Welsh against the number three wrestler at 174 is going to go into the third and final period of regulation up by an escape point. So Ruth at a minute 22 of riding time. So Welsh, he needs at least 22 seconds. But Ruth able to get away quick. That's a good escape by Ruth. Able to keep his riding time. He's got a minute 19. Tied 1-1. One, one. So Welsh going to need a score. Or he can force another stall call. Ruth's only loss of the year. He's 11-1. It was to top-ranked wrestler Missouri's Keegan O'Toole. This could be Welsh's second-ranked victory in a matter of weeks. The 23rd ranked Alex Faison of NC State, 9-6 by decision at one of the duels. So well, she's going to need to be on the offense here, not just because he wants a takedown, but he's got to show the referee that he's the one that's trying. Maybe get that second stall call. So how do you approach the final minute, Matthew, when you're tied up one low scoring affair? Yeah, I don't think you need to game the clock here. I don't think you want to try to get, you know, necessarily a last second takedown because you're not worried about him getting an escape. You just need a takedown. So I, I, I would just start going right off the bat. No reason to wait till the last 30 seconds or so to sprint. We're at 45 now. Walsh is taking some attempts. The Cavelli is awakened. 30 seconds remain. Crowd's starting to get into it, hoping, trying to pressure the refs into a stall call. I think Ed's doing just enough not to get it. 15 to go. The shot from Welsh denied by Ruth. 10 seconds left, they go to their knees. And that's going to do it. Ruth's going to win on that riding time point. Minute 19 in control. Edmund Ruth. A little disappointing of a match. Um, 